Hey, this is Mr. Warden. I'm going to do a video key for the exit ticket, 16.1, and here we go. So we've got um, this set of triangles, and we're supposed to prove that AC, this part here, is congruent to BD. So we need to prove that this part here is congruent to this part. That's what we've got to prove. Now, <clears throat> if we could prove that A, B, and C, D are congruent, then we could easily prove that A, C, and B, D are congruent by addition, because we'd be adding the same thing to congruent things, producing a congruent sum. So that's going to be a thing I'm going to be on the lookout for. So let's take a look at the information we've been given. We've been given that angle A, E, B, A, E, B, right there, is congruent to angle DEC. We've also been told that AE is congruent to DE. So we know that this is congruent to this. We now also know that A is congruent to D. So I'll pick a different color for that. We'll go with um, red. Okay, we know that angle A is congruent to angle D. If I didn't have color coding, I'd use different marks on here, um, but that's what we know. <clears throat> so we now have an angle and a side and an angle that for two triangles, so there's triangle EDC and triangle EAB, uh, are going to have to be congruent. If that's true, then we'll be able to prove that AB and C and DC are congruent uh, because of uh, corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent, or kapakataka. So here we go with the proof. So after the givens, okay, we can say that um, <clears throat> triangle AEB is congruent to triangle um, <clears throat> DEC uh, by angle, side, angle, because angle, side, angle, and angle, side, angle are congruent. Okay, once we've done that, uh, we can say, side, you know, we can say AB is congruent to DC. By the way, you might notice I named them in or the order that they show up correspondingly in the triangle. I didn't actually have to do that, but it's a little better. Okay, so AB is congruent to DC. Um, because corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. Okay, so if that's true, we can say that AC is congruent to, okay, AC is congruent to BD because of addition. We are adding the same thing to two congruent segments, and we get a congruent sum. We get congruent sums, I should say. We get congruent sums, <clears throat> and that's what you need to prove it. All right, the next one, a little trickier, but let's take a look at what we got to do. I like to start with looking at what we got to do. We got to prove that AW is congruent to BW. So we need to prove this. We need to prove that this piece here is congruent to this piece here. So we need to prove this is this. Now, in order to do this, it would be useful if we knew that this piece and this piece were congruent and this piece and this piece were congruent. So it occurs to me that if we could do that, then we could prove this by subtraction. So let's see what information we have. So we know that AZ, this part is congruent to ZB. So pick a different color. So we know AZ is congruent to B, ZB, okay? And I would have said AZ is congruent to BZ, but that's okay. We also know that Z is the midpoint of XY. If that's true, then we know that we can prove that XZ and YZ are congruent. 
So let's go with that. So let's start off with after the givens, we can prove that XZ is congruent to YZ by definition of a midpoint. Okay, midpoint bisects XY. Okay. Now let's take a look at the next given. We've been given AXZ. So, in fact, what I would do is I would give these first two givens and then I would make this statement. Okay, so after the first two givens, okay, then we've got angle AZX is congruent to AZX is congruent to BZY. So let's identify that. We'll use bluish for that. So this is congruent to this. Okay, so we know that. And we also know that X, so we actually, right now, we could prove that this triangle here is congruent to this triangle here. That is something we can prove. Now we're finally given that XW is congruent to YW, which was something we needed. So that's very helpful. So we know, and I'm going to draw it out here, okay? We know that this is congruent to this. That's awesome for us. <clears throat> okay, before I address that, what I want to address is that after I got um, that next given, okay, the third given, and we can now say that triangle AXZ or AXZ is congruent to triangle AXZ is congruent to triangle BYZ. And the reason we can say that is we have side angle side. We have two sides and the included angle um, because of side angle side side angle side is one of the things that proves a triangle is two triangles are congruent then we can prove that a uh, ax is congruent by because congruent corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent okay so now that we have that information we're in pretty good shape I'll use, I'll use yellow for that. So we know that AX and BY are now congruent. And what that tells us is we have enough information to prove that AW and uh, BW are congruent, which is what we need to prove. Okay. So now we can say AW is congruent to BW by subtraction, we can subtract oh, AW and BW are the diff are the congruent differences of subtracting congruent parts from congruent parts. Okay. Because we know that a as the, we know that x w is congruent to y w, and we know that x a is congruent to b y or y b, we can say this minus this is the same as saying this green minus this little bit here, and what we're left with is this magenta b w and a w, and then you're done. Okay, and I will go ahead and stop now.